Hello, I'm Simon Whistler, you're watching the Today I Found Out YouTube channel, and in the video today we're looking at why the speed of seafaring vessels is measured in knots. How fast you're going while out there floating on the big blue is notoriously tricky to judge if you're just eyeballing it. One method used to get around this was introduced in the 16th century using a chip log or log line. In a nutshell, this method used a plank of wood, usually wedge-shaped and weighted on one side so it would float perpendicular on the water to increase drag, tied to a long thin line that had knots tied at evenly spaced intervals. The wood would be tossed into the water and the line let out while a sailor used a sand glass to determine the number of knots let out in the given time span. As for the interval and the time span, this varied somewhat in the beginning, but for reference, one mid-18th century version had the knots at 120th of a mile with a 30-second timer. This has all since been standardized based on the nautical mile, today equaling 1.852 kilometers. One knot then equals one nautical mile per hour. In landlubber terms, this is about 1.15 miles an hour or 1.852 kilometers per hour. More pertinently, this is equal to 1 60th of a degree of latitude or 1 minute of arc, assuming the Earth is a perfect sphere, which it's not, being squashed at the poles and bulging at the middle, but this is a good enough approximation. Thus, if you were traveling at one knot, it would take you approximately 60 hours to go one degree of latitude anywhere or one degree of longitude at the equator. So today, if you're using a 28-second timer to get your accurate speed in knots, you need to have the interval of knots at 14.4018 meters, that's 47 feet and 3 inches. The number of knots that are unrolled during that time span is your speed in knots. So I really hope you found that video interesting. If you did, please do hit that like button below and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Also, over there on the right, a couple of other videos you might enjoy if you enjoyed this one. And thank you for watching.